Hey guys, Dave from Red Smoke Barbecue here and welcome to episode two of our new series of Two Minute Sauces, which is where we aim to show you in two minutes or less on how to make fantastic sauces at home that are gonna improve your barbecue. Now in our first episode, we uh, did a Carolina barbecue vinaigrette. We got some great feedback on that sauce and I'll drop a link to it in the description below and I'll tag it at the end of this video. Uh, but today we're gonna do a classic barbecue sauce. However, we're gonna add jalapeno to it to make a fantastic jalapeno barbecue sauce. Now, this sauce goes great really on anything. I prefer it on pork ribs myself, but anything that you enjoy barbecue sauce with that you don't mind a little bit of extra zing. Now, there's a few ingredients that we need. So we're gonna roll the intro, we'll start the clock and I'll show you how to make this great sauce. All right, let's first go through all the ingredients you need now. I'm gonna list them all out here so you can take a screenshot and there's too many to talk through. But the key here is the jalapenos. Depending on how many jalapenos you put into the mix is really gonna determine how hot this sauce is. I recommend just starting with one for now. All right, we're gonna start with a finely sliced medium-sized jalapeno. Now I've added all the seeds into uh, give the sauce in a little bit of extra kick. Then you wanna add all the dry ingredients followed by all the liquids as per the recipe posted earlier. Now the next part that we need is molasses. Now if you're looking for molasses in a supermarket, it's generally kept where your golden syrups uh, and maple syrups are kept. So we're just gonna add in the ketchup and just a pinch of ground coriander. Give that a really good stir. Now we're gonna put that onto the stove, just on a low heat, and we wanna bring that to the simmer, just stirring that pretty regularly for around 20 minutes. Okay, so once you let it simmer, we just wanna move it back over onto the bench where we'll just let it cool down. All right, so there you go. So pretty straightforward. Let it simmer there for uh, 20 odd minutes. We've let it cool down to room temperature and now it's time to transfer it to the jar. Now it has thickened up a little bit while it's been sitting here, so you shouldn't need a funnel, but you will need one of these airtight containers, jam jars, whatever you've got lying around. So let's just transfer that in now. All right, there you go. So we've transferred that to that airtight jam jar. We're gonna clamp that down now so it's nice and tight. And we're gonna pop that in the fridge. Now I recommend 24 hours in the fridge for this. Just gives that ingredients time to fuse, intensify that flavor. You can do it earlier, of course. I just think it tastes better this way. So let's pop it in the fridge. All right, there you go. Jalapeno barbecue sauce, super simple. Better stop the clock, because I reckon we beat the two minute timer. Um, just gonna give this one a little bit of a try. I already know it's gonna taste good. Yeah, it's really good. Sweet like barbecue and tangy, but that little bit of a zip from the jalapenos. I wouldn't say it's over spicy, uh, and it'll probably dial down a little bit too once we use it on some pork ribs, which is what we're gonna do tonight. I think it's a fantastic sauce of ribs, but anything you put barbecue sauce on that you don't mind a little bit of zing. Now you can control the temperature. Like I said, you could add extra jalapenos to it, but I do recommend just starting with the recipe as it is and then just making those minor tweaks later on to get it to your liking. Now, if you like this video, really appreciate the thumbs up. Better yet, appreciate your support on the channel by subscribing. It's free for you to do, but it means a lot to us. And uh, until the next video, we'll catch you then.